Hi guys, today we're going to have a go at drawing a scarab beetle. The scarab beetle was an important symbol in ancient Egypt. It takes the form of a dung beetle, which rolls dung up into balls in order to lay its eggs. For this reason, the dung beetle was seen as a symbol of rebirth. They used the scarab beetle to represent the god Capri. The ancient Egyptians believed that Capri renewed the sun every day by rolling it across the sky and into the world of the afterlife. For this lesson, you'll need a ruler, a pencil, a pen, some colouring pens or colouring crayons, A4 paper, you might need a rubber as well. So the first thing we're going to do is divide our piece of paper. We're going to divide it into four. You can either do this by folding the paper or using your ruler. Don't press too hard because these lines are going to be rubbed out at the end. The first thing we're going to do is draw the letter D. So I'm going to turn my piece of paper around and we're going to draw the letter D so it sits on this line here. Make sure it's in the middle. Once we've done that, we're going to do a smaller one on top of that letter D. So this is his head. Then we need to draw his main body. So we're going to do a almost like an L, coming down and then curve into the bottom. And we need to do the same on the other side. Inside this capital D, we're going to draw another capital D close to the edges of the one on the outside. Good. Then we're going to draw his wings. So start with a straight line that stops just before our line that goes down the middle. Straight down. And this line here, we're going to come down, follow the line, and we're going to curve in a little bit above. So I'm going to do the same again on this side, so straight line down, needs to be in level, across the top, then we're going to go down the side again, and we're going to curve it in at the bottom, we've got his wings, we need to draw his legs now, so we're going to start with the ones at the front, first thing we're going to do there's two almost like letter L's coming out of his body. Then we're going to do a smaller one that will connect. And the same again on the other side. We're going to do another one that comes down here and meets his leg. And then another one on this side. Same again. So above his head now, we're going to have a go at drawing a circle. Now this circle represents the sun. So in ancient Egypt, scarab beetles are associated with the transporting of the sun across the sky. And this is because scarab beetles, also known as dung beetles, will roll up dung from other animals into balls, just like the shape of the sun. So let's have a go now at trying to draw a circle. When you've done that, we're going to have a go at bringing his legs around to meet the circle. So I'm going to curve it around and in. And then this one, I'm going to curve around to a point, come back in and curve around again. So again, same on the other side. Curve around to a point, in and then into the dung or the sun. Next thing we need to do is add his legs at the bottom. So we're going to draw capital C's at the bottom. And then we can start drawing the other segments of his legs. So we're going to do curve round, a bit like a bracket. Another one round. Same again on the other side. We're going to add the bottom bits in a minute. First, what we're going to do is have a go at drawing a letter D underneath. So 
Now we can draw his bottom bits of his legs. So we're going to turn it into a point. It's a bit like a letter L backwards. And then round, touch that D at the bottom. Then here, all we're going to do is curve it round and meet that point. There we go. And we need to do the same again on the other side. So starting here, we're going to curve out so it's a bit like a letter L. And then another one to the bottom. And then we're going to curve round to meet that point at the bottom. All right. So legs are in the middle. We're going to have a line out, we're going to do the same on the other side, so make sure you are level. Then we're going to take a line from here and we're going to curve it up to make a point. It's a bit like a triangle. Okay, last bit for this leg, we're going to curve down and join the other leg, just like it disappears behind. Same on the other side. And then we need to add a line on the inside. I'm just kind of curving out and then in. Now, ancient Egyptians often combined different animals together, so we are going to give our scarab beetle some wings. Before we do that, we're going to add two more things to our beetle. On our head, we're going to add, it's almost like a V upside down. Then we're going to add a curved line and another one. And then I'm going to add another one of those shapes on this side. So curve line, curve line. In our circle, we're going to add another circle. So now we can move on to our wings. So what we're going to do is where our legs meet the body, we're going to do a straight line out. I'm going to do another one on the other side. Then we're going to curve this line. Again, it's like a letter L. And then I'm going to meet, join my lines up to my body. Same again on the other side. I might want to come. So letter L. Meet that line at the bottom. So we're going to add some extra detail to our wings now. I'm going to start halfway down, curving it in, and then I'm going to follow the line at the bottom. Same again on the other side, halfway down, follow the line on the bottom. Now, if you do it in pencil, you can obviously rub it out. I can't because I've got it straight in pen. <laughs> The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take two lines out and stop at halfway of our wing. Same again on the other side, so make sure you're in line. Stop at halfway. Then we're going to curve that up to meet the top line. Then we're going to take another line down and join the body. Same again on the other side. Curve it down, join the body. Try and make sure that they are in line with each other. And another one again. Another one. And the last one on this side. There we go. Then we can start adding some shapes with inside these shapes. So I'm just going from the body out and I'm following that shape round. about halfway and then we're going to follow the shape round that's on the outside so we're going to follow it round and in and stop at that line same again this side to halfway and follow that shape round and in then we can start adding some detail so I'm going to make that line I'm just going to give it another outline same again so then we're just going to add some detail here. So I'm going to add some curvy lines. Same 
And then the last bit here, we're just gonna kind of add some, almost like feather shapes. And then I'm just gonna go and put another outline in here. And if you wanted to, you could add some detail in this bit here. I'm gonna add some lines, I'm gonna do. Now you're ready to color in. So if you haven't done it in pen, go over the lines in pen first, and then you can rub out your lines with a rubber. Ancient Egyptian painters relied on a palette of six colors. Green, red, blue, white, black, and yellow. Each color was also a symbol. And in fact, blue was the symbol for rebirth and creation. 